Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me, Umber Rays, and today we're going to be talking about a brand new unit on the global side. Why I don't have the global account up? Well, let's just say I'm taking kind of an extended vacation from the uh, global side version. Uh, definitely playing the two versions of Brave Exvius is all. Well, it's pretty damn time-consuming. Hell, playing one version of uh, Brave Exvius is time-consuming. So, yeah, uh, falling behind on my uh, video making as well as uh, just a incredibly busy time over the last two months. And looking like what will be like a busy time for me over the next month, I'm not really having a lot of extra time to run my global account, so I'm just not doing it. That's how easy it is some days. But anyway, we're here to talk about the new global unit. Now, the global unit, of course, is Myra, the singer that I showed off last night in my previous video. And now that the data mine is up, we can take a look at Myra and see if she is any good. There were also a couple other things. Uh, there are a ton of new bundles that are coming to global, so uh, hope you guys are working hard over there. Um, there's the Fan Fest exchange, there's a whole bunch of, uh, there's a couple of changes to Quinn, or Kian, or however you pronounce him, that is just not super interesting. Uh, yeah, the, the less I talk about that, the better. But why do I have the JP side up? Because, well, Myra is definitely a unit that I want to talk about. She is also a unit that I want to compare to someone who should have been out by now on the global side, but as we've seen, global is very good at pushing content back, just back, back forever, and that is, of course, Eurasia, a character who I quite like, but after getting Primrose, I just never felt the need to get her, which, you know, I'm sorry, but Primrose is better, and at that point, it just wasn't worth the UOCs. Uh, Eurasia, forgive me. Anyway. Let's talk about Myra, because Myra is an idol. She is listed as a healer support unit. She is coming on a banner with Aurora Fravia, who we've already discussed in the past, is a pretty, pretty, you know, it's a pretty good unit. Um, if someone was to give me, a, you know, a Aurora Fravia, I wouldn't be like, wow, thanks. I'd actually be thank you. Um, so... TMR of Myra is a 20 magic 55 uh, spirit hat, also with a ability that gives some fire and light resistance. Pretty darn solid TMR, especially for the future, with elemental resistance being important. I've said this many times before, so you know it's true. Uh, super TMR, Myra's mic stand, a 10 attack, 150 spirit staff. Uh, yeah, the staff. Oh good, I guess I fixed that. And comes with, to all my fans, a increase of spirit 100% when HP drops below 80%. Very, 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 very good. Just very solid staff. There's no... And yes, I said solid staff. Get over it. Stop giggling. Anyway, uh, this is a really good item into the future. There, you know, staffs, the highest one I can think of in terms of spirit is about 166 which i think is still ayaka's uh, there are some you know other really good staffs too in the game that are super tmr level but this one's just really good so if you're interested in aurora fravia and you got this girl eh, super tmr investment wise obviously not maybe something you should wail for but if over the long term you were to get this i wouldn't say no at all looking at her spirit or her stats, I should say. Lots of MP uh, as well, at least a really nice base MP, as well as a nice base spirit of 214. Uh, maximum stats at the 7-star can be increased mostly to her spirit. This is one of the things where it's like I just prefer those specialized units, uh, especially spirit units lately. Spirit units are kind of one of the fun things I really love in Brave X, because of just having units that, you know, they use their spirit staff for something, and that makes them not only defensive, but offensive too. So, really cool, really like it. Moving on. Uh, equipment set up, you know, daggers, staffs, rods, 
Uh, harps and whips, so pretty good there. Uh, armor, not the best, but can equip light shield, so that's it. something good too. Uh, looking at white magic, she has Libra, Isunaga, uh, and all of the cure uh, breaks to spell white magic spells as well as re-raise and Kiraja, so she actually has a pretty darn solid white magic kit. I, I wasn't really expecting her to have such nice stuff, but Isunaga, uh, the thing that um, probably she needs in her white magic is Dispelga. Uh, Isunaga is good, but it doesn't cover all the status effects, which I've always thought is kind of stupid, but yeah. Uh, Kiraja is not a bad thing. Uh, looking at her hidden track, maxed out at her 7 star, remove all debuffs from all allies, cure all status ailments from all allies, heals a total of 8,000 HP, 30 times mod, split over 3 turns to all allies, 150 MP at a 0.2 times mod, split over 3 turns to all allies, and increased resistance to attack break, or basically all breaks and charm for three turns to all allies. So it's a pretty solid thing. 36 crystals, though, it's a little expensive, says the guy who likes Aerith, but I mean, this is pretty solid. It's pretty nice to get the, you know, the big healing, the remove of problems, and the protection of, uh, you know, debuffs. So it's pretty good support, all in all. Pretty good support. And the healing lasts multiple turns. So you can potentially, you know, keep it going for a good while. Uh, looking at her passives, not the longest list, a recovery of 5% MP per turn. Eh, okay. Uh, decreased chance to be targeted, you know, the spirit, defense, HP, all that good stuff. Some natural status immunities, as well as um, natural charm immunity. A uh, chance to counter with sing along or dance along, uh, either physical or magical. TMR gives her a big boost in her stats, as well as some elemental resistance, a limit burst gauge fill rate up, uh, also enables a skill playlist, which I'm guessing is probably multicasting without having looked at it, increase spirit and more limit burst per turn. Sing along and dance along are MP and HP restore abilities, so, you know, she gets hit, she restores some stuff to people. I don't think that there's anything bad about any of that. Uh, continuing on, just to take a look at where the heck playlist... Oh, there's... Yeah, playlists use two of her turns, or, or two of her skills... Two of her turns. Use two of her skills in one turn, except her cooldown skills. Little shame that it would be nice to be able to use her cooldowns, but not bad. Uh, she has hit single, which heals allies, and not only that, heals over multiple turns. She has a way to inflict charm to all enemies for a uh, one turn. She has uh, basically a version of Reflect, which is kind of interesting. Uh, intro, which boosts uh, stats for all allies and break resistance for attack and magic, and enables Interlude for a couple of turns. Uh, she has Revive an Ally, which is an actual ability, not a magic, so it's okay, but it, her re-raise being on one and her raise being on another in terms of like abilities and magic and not super crazy about the split it's just kind of better to have all your stuff and abilities or at least get triple white magic but i guess global's not quite there yet uh she has basically in trust which is interesting and she can increase uh her own limit burst fill rate for entrusting which is cool i think we've seen that on the jp side she has a magic damage with spirit and that grants also a 500 hp barrier to all allies for multiple turns that's a divine ruination chaining ability doesn't have an element on it so that's not great but uh does i mean it is chaining it is on her strong yeah and i'm a big fan of spirit chainers lately so yeah this is good uh, continuing on, uh, uh, fighting with, or no, we just went over fighting, sorry, audition, uh, which is a refresh MP, split over three turns to the caster, kind of meh, double white magic, album cover, which uh, increases status resistance of sleep, silence, confuse, and petrify for five turns to all allies, increased resistance of defense and spirit breaks, and charm resistance for allies for five turns. She has saved me, revive all KO'd allies. That one's really good. 
And now we get into our cooldowns. First one, six turn cooldown, available turn one, is an auto revive 80% heal 3000 with a 10 times mod split over three turns and an MP heal. Live concert is pretty nice so long as it doesn't lock her down, it's really good. Uh, Roaring Crowd gives fire and light resistance 100% through two turns to all allies. 20% mitigation, increased resistance of status ailments, and charm for three turns. So the damage mitigation doesn't quite stack up. Like, I feel like there's much better damage mitigations out there. So this is kind of eh. Uh, Piercing Voice, her last one, is a decreased defense and spirit to enemies for one turn. Decreased fire and light resistance 100% for one turn to all en enemies. And heal for your allies. Piercing Voice is kind of interesting because it's kind of like Santa Rosalie on the JP side. She can debuff Defense Spirit as well as Ice and Light Resistance. So Myra kind of feels a little bit like the Santa Rosalia, just with Fire instead of Ice. So that's pretty good. But the big thing here is, you know, Eurysia. And Eurysia should have been out now on the global side and i assume she's pushed back because she was a really strong buffer when she came out uh of course you have you know nickel now so that is something to be said but Eurysia is just a really really nice limit burst at a seven star she can do you know boost the your allies about 170 percent stats also has really good uh, elemental protection as well as that. This girl is a little more focused on just two elements. Uh, I do believe your Aisha can do light and dark as well as wind and earth, so that is, you know, probably a little bit better, but... So do I really think that Myra is worth it? If you already have other support, I don't know if Myra is quite enough. Myra definitely has some strong multi-turn healing for HP MP. She's a really good support unit, but her stat buffs aren't exactly the highest, and that's probably the thing to talk about. Um, by activating, by using intro, you get interlude, and then eventually you get. Uh, by using interlude, you get outro. Outro is her big one, which grants a 1500. HP barrier for three turns to all allies. Pretty good. Increase attack, defense, and magic spirit 140% for two turns to all allies, and recover 100 MP. Now, considering that it takes three turns to get this, because I believe it, it has to unlock on the next turn. Stat-wise, she can't exactly push a ton. Her damage resistance doesn't feel super great. Like, she can definitely provide multi-turn support and debuff the enemy and do some chaining damage. All of this is really good, and she has a strong, really good white magic kit too. It's just hard to recommend her because if you're looking for a buffer, she's not quite that. If, she's, if you're looking specifically for a healer, she's not quite that either. But with AoE revive, uh, you know, auto revive in her kit and everything like that, she's probably better than I'm giving her credit for. The The way I kind of look at this is if you're going for Aurora Frabia, then, you know, this is definitely not a consolation prize. I think Myra's actually pretty darn good, especially because her spirit scaling is, you know, even with a low mod, she will be able to get high amounts of spirit, especially because Global just has higher spirit statted stuff than JP has. Uh, for the time period that you're looking at. There are some really great spirits equipment that has come out over the last little while. So yeah, it's it's really hard for me to say that I don't like Myra at all. And sorry, I'm basically gearing up to start streaming right away here. But yeah, like I, I, I can't overly... I can't overly endorse her too much if you already have good support and good healer, as well as maybe some other spirit scalers. If you already are done with Aurora Frabia, you're happy with what you got, then this is probably a pretty easy, uh, you know, pass for you. If you get one of her off of the free pulls or whatever by playing the game, then good for you. Um, 
yeah, maybe I think going for a second here. She feels a lot better to me than Quint, Kin, whatever did. Uh, he was not a unit that really was sounded that great to me, and this is definitely someone who can probably be a really good healer as well as a really good support, as well as doing a little bit of chaining too. Uh, how well she balances all of that, um, I don't know. I guess that's more of a testing thing, but Myra gets a solid, uh, solid recommendation, especially if you're looking for this type of character. If not, probably, you know, pass, move on, and wait for the next thing, which, you know, Axtar and Xenogears, I assume they're coming at some point, uh, and we'll talk about them later. Anyway, that's all for now. See you next time.